Now we're up to our joining row. And what you want to do is work the next row as normal. But when we get to our chain one space, we're going to stop. What we're going to do now is skip the chain one space and we're going to make a chain one. If you're making these for the larger sizes, I would suggest adding a chain two or a three or even a chain four. And this gives you extra room under the arms. Also too, when we do our joining row, it will add whatever the height of that one row is to your garment. So what we need to do is when we get to that chain one space over there, we're going to skip that. We're going to skip all the next lot of double crochets and we're going to go to our next chain one space. So we've got a chain one space here, skipping all the double crochets, the next chain one space, and into the next double crochet, we're going to work a double crochet. And we are now going to work all the way across. So this will be the back section of our work. And we're going to continue across until we get to the next chain one space. When we get to our next chain one space, we're going to chain one. Or if you did a different amount of chains just before, you're going to repeat what you did there. We're going to skip the chain one space, skip the next lot of double crochets until we find our next chain one space. Oop, I just need to move that out of the way. And then in the next <laughs> this isn't working. What's going on? Here we go. That's better. In so we've got our chain one space in the next double crochet we're going to work a double crochet and all the way across we get to the end we're going to work our double crochets and we're going to put our increase into the end so pause the video and i'll meet you when we are up to the end after we finish our joining row it's a perfect time to try it on to see if it fits it's not going to sit perfectly because it doesn't have any length in the body so it is going to sort of sit i found that it rows up on my back but all you're checking for is if it fits under the arm. If you find it that it's really, really tight, you're going to have to just pull out the last row, maybe put one or two rows of the increasing back in, so like the flat section before we joined it, put one or two rows of that in. And again, if it's, uh, if it's too big for you, then you're going to need to take a row out. So take out your joining row and then take out one or two of the rows of the the top part of the it's called a yoke the top part when we we're making it flat I'm gonna spin the mannequin around so that you can see what it's like under the arms my mannequin doesn't have any arms so it's not really going to give you any idea how it fits but it, you'll just see what it looks like so you can see there it's joined under the arms and I have tried this on and it fits me I'm not gonna try it on camera because I'm having a lazy day today so I'm not hair's not done <laughs> I'm just comfortable today but it does fit me and it is not tight under the arms for this version I will be making it no sleeved so I won't be adding any sleeves to this version and we're just going I'm just going to single crochet or something around the edging of the sleeve but I do have two videos that show you two different sleeves to make so there will be a link for that one in the description box you can see at the back there it's a little bit sort of baggy I don't know if that's really showing up on the video and it, it'll kind of um, bow out a bit a bit at the back when you try it on but that disappears it will hang straight when you've got more length to your your um, cardigan so yeah it's taking shape so you can see at the front here that it's almost joining across uh, this mannequin is a bit smaller than me. It's it's um, two sizes down from me, and it, when I put this cardigan on, it's not going to join at the front. But I don't want it to join at the front. If you want yours to be a little bit more 
coverage in the front keep increasing and then when it's to the point that you are happy with it how close it is together then stop increasing so your increasing now from now on will only be at the beginning and the end of each row if you want to make the crossover version so that was the yellow cardigan that you saw at the beginning the kimono, kimono style cardigan you're going to keep increasing at the start and the end of each row and you're going to continue this for the entire project so as you crochet along the fronts are actually going to get wider because it's going to cross over at the front if you want just the plain version so the v-neck or the one with the collar I'm hoping to get a collared version into this video so I'm hoping that's in there that will be a rusty ready brown colour if you want the big collar on that you're going to stop increasing so if you want the crossover version keep increasing as we've been doing at the beginning and the end of each row and if you want it to come a bit more further across your body of course keep increasing until you get to that point but now for this version this is going to just be the plain v-neck and that is the same as the multicolored one that you would have seen at the beginning and also the collared version the rusty brown colored version that is also the same cardigan base it just has a different collar on it so for those ones we're going to stop increasing now so the only one that you have to keep increasing the whole way is the crossover version so continue on the I will show you how to do the next round and then after that we just repeat that this round until we've got the length that we need the edging is going to add about an inch or so to your project depending on how long you want to make your edging so stop a couple of rows before your your length of it that you want it to be and then we can put our edging on so this cream version is going to be the basic v-neck so now I am just going to do chain two and double crochet in the next stitch not this one that we've been doing for the increase into the next one if you're going to do the crossover version you're going to keep increasing so you're going to do two at the start and two at the other end of your row you're going to complete that the whole way through this project but if you want the ones that just come straight down at the front so it doesn't cross over at all you're just going to stop increasing and then continue on doing one stitch in every stitch and then when we get to the other end of the row we only put one double crochet in the last stitch so you're going to double crochet across and when you get to the armhole I have one chain so I'm going to put one double crochet into that chain if you have more chains so you've say you've got two, three, four, however many, you're just going to put a double crochet in each chain. And you can work it into the hole, so you could put your crochet hook like that and work your double crochet, but I like to go into the chain like that, just how you would normally crochet into it, and then put my just put one double crochet in there. So this row there's no increasing at all for the basic v-neck. And you're just going to double crochet across. I'm sorry about the lighting here, guys. It's it's getting dark outside, so it's a bit glary because the lights are really bright. Double crochet across, double crochet in the chain, and then double crochet all the way. And then you repeat the same under the other arm on the other side. So I will meet you back here, which will be tomorrow, but on the video it will be in the next video clip, and I will show you how much length I've got and then we're ready to do the the edging so I now have the length of my cardigan and I have 20 rounds including the joining row I have 20 rounds under the arm so we are now ready to do the bottom band so this is just the edging around the bottom of the cardigan I will be using single crochet for this you could use half double crochet or you could just continue on with the double crochet 
just it depends on what look you are after after we've done the bottom band we are going to continue and work rounds around the neck if you have made the crossover version I'm just going to grab that one and put that on the model for you now so here is the crossover version I'm just using stitch markers to keep it in place at the moment because it won't won't stay in place if I don't use stitch markers and you can see how it crosses over at the front the edging for this one is exactly the same so we have the we have a few different versions we have the crossover version the plain v-neck and we also have the collared version the bottom band is exactly the same for all of the versions also the so the, the openings are around the neck and the, the chest area and along the opening edge of our of our cardigan which is around here up and around the neck and then down and across and if you use just the plain v-neck so it just comes straight down at the front like the cream one we had on before we are just going to use our edging and it's going to come down and go straight down the edgings for all of the cardigans around the neck are exactly the same we just have a different shape on the crossover version so see how it's crossed over it doesn't go straight down the cardigan's just a different shape but the edging is applied exactly the same way we are just going to single crochet around the opening of the cardigan so this is not the bottom of it this is not the bottom edging it's just the opening that goes around your neck and down your chest and then down to your stomach and down to your waist eventually if it's that long so okay so the next part we are going to do the bottom edging and then we are going to start the opening edging as well so we're on the bottom edging we're going to chain one does not count as a stitch on the edging we're going to single crochet into the first stitch if you're going to do half double crochet you're going to do chain one and half double crochet in the same stitch and if you're doing double crochet for the edging for the bottom you're just going to continue on like we did previously oops sorry guys because I mentioned the half double crochet we're going to single crochet into every stitch across and we're only working along the bottom edge of our cardigan so we're not going to turn any corners if you get to a corner you're not going to turn we're going to come back the other way so single crochet all the way across on this bottom straight edge and I'll see you when we are up the other end so I'm up to the other edge the uh, other end of the edging so this edge here is the opening of our cardigan we're not going to go down there yet we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work around I'm just going to do that off camera this project's getting pretty big now so I need to do that off camera otherwise all you get is a face full of crochet and we're going to single crochet in the same hang on I put on a chain one yeah we're going to chain one if we haven't already and then we're going to single crochet in the same space and we're going to repeat this across we're going to single crochet in each stitch and we're going to repeat this row for the remainder of our edging I think I'm going to do four four rows and then we're going to start the opening edging so continue on for as many rows as you want like I said I'm going to do four rows and pause the video now and I'll meet you back when we're ready to start the um what am I talking about <laughs> oh dear we're going to start the opening the edging around the opening you know what I meant all right pause the video see you in a minute it's a little bit hard to see but here is the bottom band of my cardigan project's getting so big now I can't really fit it in the screen that's the bottom band so what we want to do is make sure I'm just going up to the top of my cardigan that we have the right side facing out to 
to find the right side of your work where our tail is hanging out if you're right-handed it's going to be on the left hand side when you're looking at the opening so that's the back of the work and here's our opening it's on the left hand side this is the front of the crochet the first row and that is the back the back will be a bit sort of all bumpy and the, the, the front will be a little bit more smooth so it's on the left hand side if you're left-handed the tail is going to be on the right hand side when you're looking at the front of your work what we want it so we make sure that's um, good side out if you want we can place a stitch marker anywhere there and that marks the front of our work to remind us if we need to just quickly have a check so the first row of the edging this and we're going to be working around the opening edge so along the front edge that goes down the, the middle and it's the same for the um, what is it called the basic v-neck the kimono style and also the collared version so all styles are exactly the same for this first round the kimono will have a different shape but it's still worked this same method so the first row we want to work around the the right side of our work so we need the right side facing us where I finished my row I finished on this side so if I want to work across here I need to turn my work around and work that way but this is the wrong side of my work so what I need to do is cut off and just finish that off because I need to start on the other corner so this is the right side of my work where's that stitch marker gone right side of my work and this is the bottom edge so the bit that goes around your waist and I need to join here and work across so just grabbing my yarn I'm going to join into the edge there so I'm just putting my crochet hook through I'm going to grab my yarn and I'm just going to place the yarn on top of the crochet hook and then pull it through I'm just pinching it in between my fingers there there's nothing special happening and I'm going to join it in just do a chain and pull the tail at the back and that'll secure that in I'm going to work a chain one and a single crochet in the same space so this is in the very first stitch and we're going to work along the edge the first few rows are single crochet and then it changes the double crochet so in the end of each single crochet row I did four rows I want to put one single crochet so one two three four we're going to put one in the end so the next one is here see if you can go through two loops it will make it a, a better looking stitch and I'm working on the end of each row so there's one there when we get up to the double crochet rows which are here you can see we've got rows there you want to do two single crochet in the end of each row so you want to put two single crochets in there two single crochets in that gap and so on if your work starts to curl up and not be able to lay flat it means you do not have enough stitches if your work is starting to ruffle it means you have too many there isn't an exact spot to go but I just work into the end of the row or into the stitch that's across the top there and I try and go under two loops if I can because I find that leaves a neater stitch this will come with practice because it's not sort of set out for you properly and, the, and it hasn't got a stitch which it's going you must crochet into there so don't worry if you don't get it first go if this starts to curl over a little bit that's pretty much normal 
it will actually lay flat. The single crochet is going to curl over. And to stop that, we can actually block our work after, which is where you wash your item. I normally do it by hand wash. There is a link below on how to do that. And then we just pin it out on some blocking mats or on a towel. There's plenty of blocking videos here on YouTube. But I just use the wet block method, which is just washing your garment <clears throat> excuse me, and then just pinning it out. I find that works best. So we're going to single crochet all the way along the front edge. So this is the opening edge around the neck and then all the way down the other side. I'm going to stop, I'm going to come back to you in the video when we get to the neck because there's a little trick that I know that makes the neck look a little nicer. So can crochet along. When you get to your neck, I want you to stop. I'm up to the neck here, and this is the beginning chain. You can work over your tail as you go if you've got one. I'm not going to because it may confuse the, the procedure. So normally in patterns, I tell you to work into the chain. And oh, where's the chain? There it is. And to me, that brings this big loop like that. If you work in there brings up this big hole and personally I don't like it. If you, it doesn't worry you, you can by all means work into the chain. I just find it brings up a big loop and it doesn't look very attractive in my opinion. So what I do, see the stitch and they've got two little legs there. Got two little stitches going up and down. Get your crochet hook go in between the two little legs there and work your single crochet again you've got the two you've got one there and one there go in between and this personally I think it looks a lot neater. There's no big loops pulled up. You've got a nice neat edge. Around the neck, if you need to make this more snug or smaller, you can work single crochet decreases. I'm not going to because I don't need to, but I will show you how to do a single crochet decrease. What you can do is work them. See how this here this is actually an increase from the very first row that we did this is the double crochet chain one and double crochet i'll show you how to do a decrease over those two stitches so you're coming up to these two stitches you're going to go in there between the two you're going to go in like we've just been doing you're going to pull up a loop Keep the two loops on your crochet hook. We're going to go into the next stitch. So this is the second part of the, the increase we, that we did on the first row. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. This is the second double crochet. We're going to go in between the two there. Two little stitchy bits there. Pull up. You've got three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And that is a decrease. But I don't need to do that, so I'm going to pull that back out. So you're going to work it along your neck, and you're going to continue on until you get to the other edge, which is the other bottom edge. You're going to stop, so you would have gone all the way around the opening of the cardigan, around the front opening of the cardigan, and you're going to stop when you get to the other end. Pause the video and I'll meet you there. We are now up to the other end. This is the bottom band. So this is the single crochet rows I did. And this is the opening edge and the row that we've just completed. If you're working the basic V-necked version or the kimono and or the crossover version, you are going to do this part. You're going to single crochet. If you are using if you are making, sorry, the 
collared version with the bigger collar, you're going to change to double crochet. So if you're going to do a single crochet, chain one. If you're going to do the double crochet, you can chain two or do an alternative. And you're going to put your first stitch in the same stitch. I just worked a half double, didn't I? <laughs> We're going to single crochet in the first stitch or you're going to double crochet and then you're going to continue with the stitch that you've got and you're going to work it all the way across and now around your neck it's it's just basically working into single crochets we are going to complete three rows for the basic V and the kimono style if you want to do more or less then it's completely up to you of course you can do that and for the double crocheted version which I haven't actually done yet <laughs> with the big collar I haven't actually started started the collar part I'm planning on doing 10 rows so I'm going to go and do that off camera now we are now going to do the tie for the kimono section if you're not making the kimono then you won't want to do this bit so what I'm going to do I'm going to try and show this as best I can this is the bottom of my cardigan and these are the so this is the waistband that you can see you want to grab each end and then put them together and then you're just basically folding it in half And what we're going to do, this is really hard to show you, let me take my camera off the tripod. Half of the width, or half of the distance around the bottom of your cardigan, that's how long you're going to make your chain. So your chain's going to go from here to here. Do you get me? So whatever the measurement is around the bottom of your cardigan, you're going to make your chain half that length. And we're going to make a chain on both corners so this is the bottom corner so let's put it this way this is the waistband and this is the edging that's around the front and this is the bottom corner and I accidentally cut my yarn off then I realized that I needed it to be attached so if yours is still attached then good for you if it's not <laughs> you can need to reattach it so I'm just putting that back in there And we're just going to make a chain and we're going to make it the length that we need so it's half the measurement of your waistband is at the moment so I'm not counting chains I'm just making them and I'll compare it to what I need to make it you can make your chain any length you want of course but I think this is what will work best for me you could also use buttons or if you've got another way that you want to do your tie up then go for it make sure you share it on your Facebook page I love seeing everyone's uh, take on my patterns some people follow it to the T some people don't some people add their own flair to it which is really cool you can tag me on Instagram as well because I love seeing stuff over there don't hashtag me make sure you do like the at symbol and tag me that way because that way I'll, it'll notify me that you've done it if you hashtag me it won't notify me all right so I'm going to compare this to my cardigan and I'll be back my cardigan is laying down that's the armholes up there and you've got the opening of your cardigan place the two together so that you folded the bottom band in half and here's my chain and that is the length I'm going to make it so half of the length of your bottom band so that's my chain I'm going to finish that off and then what we need to do is just hang on I'm just putting you back on the tripod what we need to do now is make a chain for the other side so just repeat what we did 
Oh, and if you don't know how to finish off your chain, you've got your loop, just pull it out, and then just pull it, and that'll knot it off for you. This version is going to have short sleeves. All I'm going to do is work around the opening of the sleeves. If you want to add long sleeves to your cardigan, I'm going to insert link tutorials for you in the description box and the description box is located below the video or to the side of the video you may need to drop uh, click down a little drop down arrow or something like that and I'm going to put the link in to the sleeves I'm pretty sure I have two different versions but you'll find all the details in the description box you can have a striped version yeah I do because I've got a striped version and I've also got a plain version so I'm going to put those in the description box and they are definitely going to fit onto this cardigan because this cardigan is based on so there's a, the v-neck there's the sweater and there's also the other cut style cardigan all three patterns are based on the same thing it's just a little bit different you know got a v-neck and one the sweater and whatever whatever but the the sleeves and everything are exactly the same so we're just going to join in our yarn for our sleeves this is the whole sleeve hole armhole so we're just looking at the bottom of our sleeve here so that's the top and that's the bottom you'll have one or two stitches you may have a few more just down the bottom here I'm gonna have one this is the chain one that I did so I'm gonna join my yarn into there it, Anywhere down under the arm there is great. There's no specific place to join there, but as long as it's just down under the arm. And don't forget, this is for the short slot, uh, <laughs> short sleeve version. I almost said coleslaw. <laughs> so we're just going to work some single crochet all the way around. So you're just going to do a chain, and that just secures that in there. And then each stitch around we're going to work a single crochet the first few stitches aren't actual stitches like you'll see up here you've got the tops of the stitches to work in let's put that to the back but here we've not really got that so you're going to just sort of figure out where you want to put it because here is the sides of the stitches so we're just going to try and go under two loops if we can And then we're going to work a single crochet and you can kind of see where you need to put your crochet hook it's only a couple of stitches that you need to figure it out that there is the chain one space so I'm going to go into there that's the chain one space from your increasing that we did that comes along there and then here it's easy we just work a single crochet normal if you need to work some decreases around the opening of your arm I'll show you how to do that a so I would put the decreases under the arm and then maybe one or two or three just space sort of evenly so one over here one here and one at the top what we need to do for a decrease go in pull up a loop keep the two loops on your crochet hook go into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop you've got three yarn over and pull through all three and that's a decrease I am just going to work just plain single crochet all the way around so work around until you get back to where we started on the sleeve which will just be under the arm so pause the video and I'll meet you there once we get back to the beginning, so this is under the arm, you can join your rounds or you can work in a spiral. If you want to join your rounds, you're going to go into the first single crochet. So that's just there, I think. Let's have a look. I think that's the first single crochet. Yep. So go in there and we're going to join with. A slip stitch then you're going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch if you don't want to join and you want to work it in a spiral you can do either way 
the long sleeves are actually worked in a spiral so that way you don't get your joining seam you can't see this but I'm in a big knot off camera <laughs> my yarn is all wrapped around what's going on oh, I'm so professional right now so if you want to work in a spiral you don't join with a slip stitch and you just single crochet in that very first single crochet and you continue working around the, the only thing with the spiral the spot where you finish off is a little bit more noticeable than when if you've joined your rounds so you, you, you've got to play one off against the other you, you don't get your seam that you might get when you join rounds but you do get a little bit of a noticeable spot so what you would do when you finish off I'll just show you now in case you don't know what it looks like when you when you were finished this is what would happen so you've single crocheted and then you just slip stitch in the next stitch so what will happen is this row will come around and then really sort of end straight away where if if it's joined in the round you don't get that it looks like it's sort of a continuous round if you know what I mean so now what we do is we just work single crochet all the way around and work as many single crochet rounds as you like I'm just going to do two and if you need to do more decreasing then work them evenly around there's no specific pattern on how to do it just just do them evenly um, so space them out evenly if you've got a armhole and you want to put in three don't put three all just here you might want to go one here one up there and then one over here somewhere so you want to space them out so they look even and that will give you an even decrease so that one side of your cardigan sleeve isn't a different shape to the other so I'm just going to single crochet all the way around and then I'm going to finish off when I get under the arm so I'm back under the arm and I'm going to just do a slip stitch because I've continued with the spiral I'm going to do a slip stitch and that will finish off if you have done joining each round you're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet and then just finish off your work so we need to sew that in a later hi guys so this is one of my finished cardigans this is the basic v-neck and this one is actually three quarter sleeves I followed the the long sleeve pattern but I obviously didn't make it long sleeve because I ran out of yarn <laughs> no actually it's a design element no I ran out of yarn so this is King Cole Riot I do not know what color it is um, yeah I don't know what color it is but you can see the colors there so that this one does not button up there's no buttons down the side it's just plain v-neck I love this one I wear it all the time and I've had lots of compliments this was one of my test patterns for my own pattern and what else we got so this is the one that we just did and I have not sewn in my ends and I've also not added the little single crochet around the sleeve because and there's a stitch marker attached <laughs> Because I want to get this video up, I'm so so busy that if, I just want to get this tutorial up and I'm going to work the sleeves later. You can also block your work, um, it consists of washing it and you pin it out and lay it on the mat and you leave it to dry. Because sometimes these bits here are going to curl up, I'm hoping that's showing up on video. It just needs to be blocked and trust me it's done it to my my multicolored one that I just showed you and I blocked it and it was fine so this is the cream version this is the same version as the multicolored one except this one has no sleeves and the other one has short sleeves so I just I still need to do the single crochet around there this one's using worsted weight yarn and this is the Aran red heart super saver the color Aran so that's that one and then this is the one that we just did again I need to finish off one of the sleeves I filmed one for the tutorial <laughs> and didn't do that the other one I've literally just finished that tutorial and, and come into this room to film this part so we've got our 
tiny bits there which I still haven't sewn in my ends yeah like I said I'm gonna do it after I finish filming this tutorial I really want to get it up to you guys so I'm not sure on the exact way to wear these but this is how I wear them I used to when I was little uh, around the age of five to about ten did ballet yep so I used to wear one of these cardigans and that's what gave me the idea so and what we used to do is we used to grab one of these and then wrap it around like that and where it met the cardigan on that side is where you threaded through your tie up so you thread it through one of your stitch holes like that and then this one just went around and just went around like that really and then we just tied it up at the back <laughs> and that's how we used to wear them Jeez, that brings back memories. <laughs> I can still remember putting on that cardigan and, and tying it up. But I'm, I know there's different ways to wear these. There's little different ways I've seen to tie them up at the sides. Some have little ties just on the sides there. Some have buttons. Um, yeah, there's all different ways to do it. So if you've got a different way, then go for it. This is just the base pattern that you guys can play with as much as you want. So that's that one. I think it's just something different rather than just straight down I think that's really cool and my other version is my collared version which I've blocked but we've had terrible weather and it's not dry so I'm gonna go and check it now it wasn't dry yesterday I'm gonna go and check it now to see if it's dry enough just for me to put on so that you can see what it looks like so this is my collared version and it's not dry it's quite damp it's quite wet Ew. <laughs> and this is made with silver lining from skeins it's a new zealand company and i'm gonna put oh it's cold <laughs> i'm going to put the link that you need for that website in the description box so i wanted this to have long sleeves it's also got a collar I'm hoping you can see that it's got like oh it's cold it's wet the things I do for you guys <laughs> and it's got like a can you see that <sighs> I'm hoping that you can see the little collar bit that's down here I think you can so it's just a different version there we go you can see it much better excuse the basket of washing in the background you can see that much better this is really cold and I'm going to take it off in a minute but this one I made longer and it's still got the band around the bottom still got the sleeves this has got really long from blocking it because it's made a wall that's okay because I get so cold so yeah love 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 this collar I've actually got a mirror just here so I'm just gonna have a look yeah that is cool it's actually got really long and I've got to take it off because it's wet. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. Now I'm too low down. Oh, cleavage. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I'm just going to put that down because it's cold. Yuck. And I would love for you to share your creation on my Facebook page. I cannot wait to see what colours that you have used. There's so many different designs coming in with the previous cardigan tutorials that I've made and I really love seeing them on Facebook and also tag me on Instagram I can't remember if I've just said that I would love to see them on there I'm also on Patreon which um, you can support me we've got giveaways and things going on over there so um, you get behind the scenes look so if you can support me on Patreon that would be great you can see Barry in the background he's got his hat on thanks Michelle for my hat I do wear it quite a bit and he's got all his buttons or his badges attached to him 
And thank you Aaron for editing for me. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. Till next time. Happy crochet. Bye.